Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have another um, project share for you guys using my Scrap Diva Designs um, dice from my design team package. So I wanted to come on and share with you um, a couple of things that I have made in the last oh, day or two. I've been super busy, but I managed to squeeze in a little bit of crafting here and there so i thought i would share with you what i have created so far <clears throat> so i think first off i'll show you the dies that i've used um and then i'll go back and point them out once i show you the project so anyway what um the main thing that i'm using today is the um oh it's the mason jar mini album okay these are the pieces it's it's got the pieces for you know you can put um you know your binder rings and stuff through there it's got little candy pieces you can add in and this little it's upside down but that's a little bear so you can make it like full of little bears here's the layering piece for the jar top and then here's the other um like stitch piece and uh the piece to make a shaker if you'd like and then there's these pieces to make um, macaroons there's a little bow little hearts and then the little candy pieces so that is the mason jar mini album it's $25. I will make sure I have everything linked below along with my <clears throat> discount code and um, my affiliate link. Okay, so um, I also used this die in it. This is the, this is from a, I think last release, but it's a bunch of crafty um, words. Uh, hashtag craft life, create hugs, happy mail. Uh, crafty, crafty girl, um, uh, paper hugs, and cute and crafty. So anyway, I used, um, and they each have the, the word along with the shadow, which I love that. I also use this one in this project. Um, this is the, um, keychain holder. Okay, so I use that one. I used the flat, uh, some of these flowers. Um, it's the edge flower dies. Okay, so I used some of those. This is from this release. This is the um, butterfly um, rosettes, two different sizes. And then also the butterfly bows, love these. There's like four, two different sizes of butterflies um, with the layering pieces. So there's like four four pieces of layer of the butterfly and then four pieces of the you know like the little bow piece I also use this one which is the double loop scallop bow number two and there's the and that comes in two sizes so that's all the pieces for those so that's kind of just an overview of the dies and I'll, I'll kind of point them out as I go through so first off um, I made a um, mason jar um, base so i use oh i forgot what other thing i used okay i didn't bring it over but um it's the um bag maker so that's what i used um you know for the insides so for this it's this these two side pieces and then the bottom piece so that's how i made a box out of it super handy die because you can make a box just about a box your bag out of just about anything so this is my um mason jar vase so I've got some pretty little um, uh, you know artificial flowers and some little sprigs and stuff in there so so cute how cute would that be to give for like a Mother's Day gift or um, uh, you know like a birthday or something just like a little vase of flowers of course you could put other things in it and stuff too but I thought it looked really cute for a decor piece so anyway I have um, two layers of the um, of the mason jar um, this outer layer I didn't make a shaker but the outer piece that you would make, use to make the shaker I cut out of my pink burlap and just kind of made it a trim I'm using uh, uh, flourish from Maggie Holmes for this um, for these projects so I got some layered up um, rosettes and you know ephemera pieces and puppy stickers I put this long um, like tool trim on top here and then topped it with some of this um, like leather um, gold trim from Hobby Lobby this cute little piece of um, 
seam binding. So, and then my back is the same. I just didn't decorate it, but it is finished off the same. So it could, you know, it's gonna look pretty however you set it up. So I think that turned out super cute. So that is my first project. And then my next one is, I went ahead and made a little mini album out of it. So here is the mini album. Okay, so here's the base piece. Now let me show you um, something else that I used. So I don't know if you guys have seen these, but at the Dollar Tree, I found, I haven't done a haul on it yet. My, I always forget to do hauls and I just end up putting it away. But anyway, they have these cute little binders the Dollar Tree and I just love this print and it so reminded me of Maggie Holmes so I got it I got a couple of them and then I just cut the die Let's get this back out of the way. so then I just um, cut used the die to cut a piece of this and that's why I layered it on so I I used um, 110 pound white cardstock on all the pages and then I layered them up so the base piece that has the holes for the binding it's all just 110 pound white um, cardstock and then I layered up all my pattern papers on top of it so that is what this page is right here so it's you know like a, a plasticky type thing and then then I cut the um, layering piece for the jar lid out of the pretty um, holographic pink from Sizzix okay this is the bow this is one of the bows from the double loop scallop um, uh, bow number two. This is $16.99 and you get full two sizes of it. Okay, this one is the large size on this one. Okay, and I layered it up with some flowers and some little sprigs and stuff. Um, so there's some more pieces from um, the Flourish Collection. A little piece of this trim underneath here. And then rather than put binder rings, I just tied three different colors of seam binding through the holes for my to keep my pieces together. Okay, so that's the front. And then you open it up, and my front, my inside is a shaker. Okay, so um, let me take this. This is just tacked down. So I've made it kind of more like a embellishment um, book that whoever was to receive it could take out the embellishments and then use it as an album. So anyway, here's my my inside cover is the shaker. Um, layered this one up with um, that kind of lacy glitter um, pink paper that I had okay and then I um, made the shaker okay I just used one of those puffy stickers from the collection and one of the chipboard from the collection here and um, uh, to decorate it with okay so the um, flower I made using the edge flower okay and then um, out of the same thing from the, um, you know, from the Dollar Tree, that, that binder, I made a cute little, um, pocket, and this is a, just a tag I cut in here to fit. Um, this pocket die was actually a, um, this is from, I think it was Coca Rosa Studios that I, um, had received one time from them. And so I just, it already has the hole punched in it. I tied some seam binding again, and then I made a little dangle with a butterfly and stuff to hang off here so anyway that's just like an embellishment to gift and so then I just put a little glue dot there tuck this up under each of these pieces so it can like live there until the person opens it and decides what they're going to do with it so that is the first page and then on this other page um, I have some of the pages I stitched some I didn't um, so just kind of random um, so this one's stitched with this pretty lemon paper in the background, and then again, the Sizzix holographic. And then for this one, this is the um, butterfly bow set. So I use this on this one. This one, I have like a layer of tulle that I um, cut out, and I have used all four layers on this um, butterfly. So I have the four different butterfly wings and then the four different sizes of the um, you know, little bow pieces right here. So those are just all cut out and layered up. This one I just have um, two pieces and two pieces and then a flower in the middle and some little 
um, enamel dots. Um, I put a little um, little bell hanging off this one. So that turned out pretty cute. Okay, and then on the next page, um, this one I um, have the lemon paper again, and then I cut out just a plain pink uh, trim to that, and then the plain um, pink cardstock for the layer of the lid. Okay, and then um, on here I've attached one of these I made. Um, I already shared this. I made a um, you know a clip, added it onto these cute little polka dot clips. So that is just clipped onto the top of this little um, pocket that I made, a little library pocket. But I just added onto here again. It's just uh, attached with one glue dot, so they can take it off. And then I just layered up some, you know, the stickers and sentiment pieces, and you know, the, the ephemera onto the outside to decorate it. And then this I just clipped on top of here. I've got a cute little um, butterfly charm hanging off that side. Okay, this side I just decorated with a piece of um, a pom pom trim here on top of the Sizzix holographic paper. Here's just a cute little pre-made flower that I had in my collection that matched and I just stuck it on there. And then here is these cute little, um, that is the, uh, where is it? That is the, oh, right here. So this is the butterfly um, uh, rosette. Okay, you get the two different sizes and it's $20 and it does go together very easily. So anyway, I love it. These rosettes here are the small one. Okay, and I just decorated them up a little bit, just a few of the pieces from the collection, okay? Okay, and then on this side, um, this one I didn't, um, I just put the paper, I didn't layer, I didn't you know make the trim layer. Um, I put a bow on top here that I made. Again, that is the, the, the double loop scallop bow, number two. From Scrap Diva, and then I just put some of the Capsella leaves right here in there, and then there's just a paper flower that I had in my stash. So, and then back here is where I used the this is the keychain holder. And so, I don't know if you guys have seen this, I had to see, I got these about two weeks ago, and I hadn't, I still haven't, like I say, shared my hauls <laughs> or used it. But anyway, at Hobby Lobby, they have these keychains now. Um, Two seventy nine. They weren't on sale that day, but I was afraid if I waited till they were on sale, if they ever go on sale, I don't know if they do or not, because it's not really. I don't think it's a paper studio thing. It looks kind of different, so I'm not really sure if they'll go on sale or not. But anyway, I was afraid if I waited, there would be no pink left. So anyway, I just grabbed one pink, just just try and see how they were, and you get uh, six pieces. So those are super cute. So I got those, and I decided to um, uh, add it on here to the keychain holder. I just cut that out of gold. Uh, glitter foil. Okay, and then I took one of the keychains and I decorated it with one of the um, the butterfly rosettes. Have a few little pieces, little tiny bows, and you know, little ephemera pieces and stuff. Little tiny flower, harvest love. So anyway, I think that turned out really cute. And then, like I said, I put the bow on top that I made. It's all layered up with tulle and and stuff. And this one is also stitched. So. And I just tied some seam binding on the top, and I think it turned out really cute. Again, it's just, just attached to the. Um, I put one glue dot on the um, on the keychain holder, just to hold it in place so it wouldn't be swinging back and forth. And then I also put one little glue dot on the back of the actual, um, you know, the keychain, so it wouldn't be swinging around everywhere. So anyway, that's that. I think that turned out super cute. And they had all different colors, too, at um, Hobby Lobby, so I'll probably go back and get some more of those because those are really cute. And it's not too bad of a price, I didn't think. I don't know. I'm sure they have them other places, but I hadn't seen them. And when I saw them there, I was like, oh, i got to get some, get some of those before they're gone. So anyway, and then on this last page, I have the um, this page cut out from, from the um, folder again. And then I used this um, ruffle piece. Uh, that is from Coco and Reno, okay? And then here's the Happy Mail um, from the Happy Mail die set that I showed you from Erica's you know, uh, crafty word die set. So it's layered up. Um, I just cut the words out of white 
cardstock and then I layered them up on some of the pattern paper from the Flourish collection. A couple more cutout pieces from the collection and a puppy sticker and a cute little heart. And then that is the end. I left the, bank, the black just uh, white and put my little sticker on there. Handmade. And I think it turned out super cute. I love it. It's so springy and butterfly and oh i just i just love it so anyway um that is the other project that i made with um that mason jar die set so anyway hope you guys um enjoyed watching um thank you so much for watching um if you have any questions or comments leave them down below um i will link everything that i used I will link Erica's website. I will link my affiliate link. Um, if you decide to purchase any of the, any of Erica's dies, use that affiliate link. It'll share a little of the love with me. And also, I have a discount code POCA10 to give you 10% off at checkout. I will also list that below so you can. Um, you know, it'll be easy for you to get in and find all this stuff. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.